If you see a wormhole, it's a circular thing that's spinning in on itself, kind of like a black hole. But unlike a black hole, you could see the other side, and you see stars and galaxies. You could consider a wormhole like a window that leads you to a very far place. If you go inside and look back, you'll see where you came from. But is a wormhole a real thing, or did it come out of mathematics? If there is a wormhole, where is it? Why can't we see it? How does it work? Back in the day, we thought space was the same thing everywhere. Just a bunch of stuff on it. But Einstein changed that idea. He proved that time and space are with each other. And not everywhere is the same. Like if you look at space like a piece of fabric and you put different planets on it, each planet is gonna have a different effect in the space. However bigger the thing is, the more effect it puts on the fabric. Long ago, they thought the space is the same everywhere. But just like we said, Einstein declined that. Not only is the space different in different spots, but the time is different. But scientists came up with other ideas. They said, if we bend this space, make a hole in it, and go inside it, we could travel a very long distance very quickly. This is a wormhole, basically a shortcut that you could take through space that's faster than the speed of light. Wow, what a great idea. We can go far away and see everything. Where is the address to it? Unfortunately, there is no address because the idea is only on paper. General theory of relativity is a theory that Einstein came up with in the year 1915. These are different equations that have different right answers. But some of these answers don't make sense with the real world. Like you can't prove that it's 100% accurate. Wormhole is exactly like that. It works on paper, but we are not sure if it will actually work in the real world, and we don't have an address. When they first came up with the wormhole, it was called the Einstein-Rosen bridge. Nathan Rosen worked with Einstein as well. But later they shortened it and called it a wormhole. In the beginning, the idea said that every black hole leads us to another universe. To understand this better, we have to explain the fabric of space a little better. The effect the star has on the fabric space is like this. But if you compress this star more and more, so the mass gets larger but smaller, the fabric stretches more and more, and it will slowly turn into a black hole. Back then they said if you enter a black hole, you will end up in another universe, a parallel universe. And on our side, it's a black hole, on the other side is a white hole. But we don't have any equipment to actually test this. We can't even get close to a black hole. The next theory is string theory wormholes. You guys already know about string theory because three weeks ago we made a video about it on our channel. This theory says different strings connect the fabric of space together and these strings open up tunnels through space and each of them are a shortcut to a different part of the universe. Scientists believe that black holes and wormholes are gonna look very similar from afar, and you can't notice it unless you get very close. They also say the supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy could be a wormhole. 
But if we want to go there and check, it's going to take 52,000 years. Don't get happy. 52,000 light years. We have to travel 26,000 light years and 26,000 light years back as well. Unfortunately, we can't visit parallel universes like this. Can we make a wormhole ourselves? Something that's obvious, if we want to make a wormhole, meaning connecting two different spots in the universe, like for example, your room to work. Or something farther, like from Earth to Jupiter. Our wormhole has to be a two-way route, not like a one-way route where you have to say goodbye. Then the width of the wormhole has to be large enough that we can pass through. Obviously, we can't build a wormhole yet, but if it's built, it has to be like this. When scientists do math on wormholes, they see that gravity wants to close a wormhole right away. But in string theory wormholes, the strings do not let the wormhole close. Even if we were able to build a wormhole, we would not know where the end result is. Where is it gonna connect? Is it gonna take us to the end of the solar system? Or is it gonna take us billions of light years away from us? And scarier than that, in a parallel universe. Some scientists say it's better we not think about this. Because they say even if it's possible, we're messing with space and time. And there is a chance it could be catastrophic. Right now, these ideas are in our head or on paper, and I don't think it's gonna come around anytime soon, or if we can even get close to one. Or we can get delusional and build one right here on Earth. <laughs>